So a week ago, I told you about the fact that Donald Trump's campaign was so low on cash that they were going to have to start canceling rallies or not hold as many rallies as they had wanted to do over the next few months. And it turns out we didn't even realize when I talked about this a month ago, that this has apparently already started happening because Donald Trump last weekend was supposed to hold a rally in Arizona, but a, which by the way, is a vital swing state that Biden only won in 2020 by about 10,500 votes. And we all know, of course, what happened in Arizona with the cyber ninjas audit. Republicans were all about Arizona and Trump needs Arizona. Biden went to Arizona last week to talk about a, a, a new uh, Intel plant that's going to be built there. And Trump was supposed to go, but he couldn't afford it. So instead that same weekend, instead of going to the vital swing state of Arizona, Donald Trump decided to go to Ohio, which is also a swing state, but uh, he did it to go campaign for Bernie Moreno, who of course last week won the Republican primary, but it was a Moreno event. So Donald Trump didn't have to foot the full bill. If he went to Arizona, he's not campaigning with another person. All of those expenses are his. He is responsible for 100% of the cost. And instead his campaign was like, Hey, you know what? There's this Moreno event up in uh, Ohio. We can go to that. We only have to pay a little bit. They're already putting it on. So we don't have to cover those costs. Let's do this on the cheap and get you in front of an audience. Let me read you this. Um, Trump was planning to hold a rally in Arizona last weekend on the same day he rallied in Ohio to support his endorsed Senate candidate, Borna Moreno, but backed out at the last minute. Trump has been looking at a trip to the state, which went for Biden by just 10,457 votes in 2020, uh, for last weekend, the same day as his Ohio rally. But those plans were scrapped after clinching the presidential nomination with two sources citing a desire to save money. So Trump's broke and he can't even travel to do these rallies. So what's probably going to happen is what happened last weekend. Rather than Donald Trump hosting his own events and having to foot the full bill, he will probably start just tacking himself on to other Republicans that are holding events and say, Hey, mind if I join in? That's how broke he is. You know, it's <laughs> like that friend at dinner. That's like, Hey, I'm a little short, man. You mind if uh, you cover part of this for me? And they're like, yeah, okay, fine. I'll do that. You got it. You got to pay for the appetizer at least. Hey, yeah, sure. I'll do that. No problem. That's what Donald Trump is now. That broke friend that always wants to be a part of things, but can't really quite afford to do it. And that's so sad for him, but we will start seeing Donald Trump trying to hitch his wagon onto other Republicans, which hilariously enough kind of puts him at their mercy, right? Are we going to start getting reports that certain Republican candidates out there holding rallies that Trump wants to go to are rejecting him? That would be a hell of a thing. And that is certainly a possibility because there are plenty of Republicans out there who we like Donald Trump enough, but let's keep him at arm's length because my voters are uh, a little iffy in a swing district here. Either way you slice it, this is so bad for Donald Trump and probably not going to get any better in the near future, especially now that the RNC has said, yeah, we're going to start raising money for Donald Trump's legal defense. And the RNC is already not able to raise much money. And you're going to have a lot more donors not willing to give to them. Just like they're not willing to give to Trump because they don't want their money going to pay for his legal fees. So he's going to be losing more money in the near future, which means he's going to become even more desperate for a Republican to invite him to their rally.